right, we're going to paint a how to tell time today. So I already sketched my um, AM and PM coffee and wine. So for our coffee, we're going to use the burnt shanna and some of the raw umber. You can use a inexpensive paint from Walmart if you like. Um, just pretty much multiple color browns for the coffee section on the top. You can use any type of brushes. Uh, usually I try to use angle brush. And um, some yellow. We can use some yellow for a little bit of highlights. All right, let's start our, um, of course, the white for the teacup. Also, you can use any kind of color you like if you want a different color teacup. So just paint it that way. I was trying to find me a, I'll be right back. Let me find a paper towel. Sorry about that. So we have our paper towel so we can um, clean off our brush. I uh, usually don't switch brushes often so I just clean it off in the paper towel. So for the copy, I can use the burnt or raw umber. So that's just a raw umber. It's darker brown it's like um that color just in this section for the coffee then just follow your sketch um, if you are not comfortable using freehand drawn or freehand sketch um i suggest you practice first before you do your painting for the background you can also try adding some colors in the background um, I'm trying to use the hold on let me show you turquoise that one it's pretty I like them um, and whatever background you want to so just kind of get it in the background you can also do your background first if you want but so it's nothing serious really this is just we're just having fun here this is not a fine art or something this is just easy painting or for fun there we go let's do some of this in here so if you want to try painting if you've been planning on trying on painting this would be easy to follow where you can try your own since the color combination is not really that complicated you can just use whatever background color your favorite color and then white for the teacup and the saucer and then coffee or coffee is just the dark brown and then when it's dry later on we can add the highlights for the foam on our coffee that's it that's your background just swiggly swiggy like that there you go so let's zoom in so. and of course you can also use the same color for the coffee for your shadowing here in the bottom for your cup 
and also here this section in here it's like a uh, shadow then like I said I don't like to I, I like to use the same brush so I don't really or clean it just clean it with soak it with water and then wipe it with paper towel and let's use the fine pointy brush for pretend we have like a um, heat coming right there so I will add a little bit of dark Let's see, I can use, oh, excuse my paint palette. It's really messy, but I use a egg crate container. I'm trying to mix black and white and a little bit of what we use for coffee in this section here. So I can add a little bit color of our cup and saucer instead of just plain, just a hint of color and this one as well in here. And then we can modify a little bit of our shadow since they almost kind of the same color with our shadow so the shadow is kind of gone. So I'll just add more color. There you go for our shadow. Let's and then for we don't have to do this, but for um additional additional thing you can add like the coffee bean itself. So the black just a line of black and then use the same color with the coffee that we used in here it's almost black but it's not really black it's the raw umber let's just add it there and a little bit of white let's add it again in there And then I'm adding some raw umber, the light color. This light brown. You can add as many coffee bean you want. It's a line. Then the raw umber on the side. Both sides. It's just and then the highlight will be the Pink Shannon. Add some titanium white, a little bit of white. There you go. You can also add some outside for our um, ground. You can add some coffee bean in the ground or just in the saucer. That doesn't matter it's up to you it's your painting so you add additional color or bean you like so I'm adding this burnt shanna on the top for the highlight I'm not sure if you can see the zoom 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 are you seeing it hope you do See the difference just add a little highlight there and then add some white for the foam for the coffee oh, it's sort of foamy foamy I'm just dabbing it I'm using the angled brush again and I'm just using this tip section and just dab 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 dab, dab. so is really easy for beginners or just try it 
Here you go. Then we can add our wine glass section. We can do red wine or usually do red wine. The effect of the red paint is more prettier. That's why I do red. So this time, let's add the background first before we do our wine. Same background I'm using with a background in there, or you can use a different background. It's up to you. But I'm mostly using lighter. Kind of the same mixture, but it's light. Light version of the one on the top so more white or just a different color if you like so we can see the difference of the um the, so they don't kind of blend just in the background Alright, just that. Let's keep going. The only good thing doing the background first is because this is the glass, the effect of the glass is easier to do when we do the background first compared to doing it and then doing the background later. All right, we're not gonna take more time on the background because it's just, just like that. Then I'm just washing my brush and wiping. That's it. I'm mixing black, white for the glasses, this section here. So pretty much just the whole thing. Then we can add highlight later to define the lines of the glasses, the borders and all that. You'll see what I'm talking about later. Let's just go ahead and do those on there. So that would be our glasses or our glass. Just do line and then just do like that. All right, then let's get. I'm using the uh, cadmium red. It's a darker red so, for our red wine. There you go. But since our white is still wet, that's why it looks like pinky ish. And then let's add in the bottom. We can add a little bit of black. Just, 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 just a hint of black. See, I'm trying to do a hint of black, but that's too much. So I'm just wiping it off. So that much of black, is, I think it's good. Um, I have, my purpose is just to make the bottom, this section in here, darker. Compared to the oblong or the top surface that we just created okay and then just kind of like add a little bit there a little bit here in the at the end so kind of like a reflection of our color to the glass itself Wipe your brushes again or use a different brush if you would like and then just kind of like I'm just trying to pretend that reflection of the color but I don't really want all of the color to be white or with the reddish so I'm trying to put that there we go if it's too much, 
color you think just add white it's too intense and sometimes I have to blow dry them or wait you can wait until it's dry and then redo them again so pretty much that's it for the wine and then let's just do the highlight that's like oh the tiny white this is just white so that line that we created or the sketch that we created at first just add some titanium white and then a reflection or glasses reflection add that white you can add some in here on this side if you want and of course this side in here um, be very careful because sometimes it's still wet uh, I suggest to dry or blow dry them blow dry your painting first so if you're not comfortable quite yet with adding highlights it's not as messy then of course you can add white if you get messy but if you're not comfortable or just add the so that's it and then just add a little bit of white going like this so we can think oh the wine is a little bit circular in there that's it this is it for the painting so i will add now the am pm so i'm using a black if you are having trouble using your fine brush to do word wording in your painting use a acrylic marker you can get those as well and then use those um, and then just add how to tell time on the top how to tell time and then you add the a.m. we can do a.m. here a.m. which means for the coffee drinker and then we add either in the bottom or here for the p.m. drinker which is the wine there you go so simple and then don't forget to sign your signature okay this is the first time i'm doing this in reddit i hope you guys will enjoy this simple painting there you go bye bye